What's going on guys? This is Aaron Steve Phillips and this is the first installment of Stevie's Vlog. Alright, so I'm giving you my top five college quarterbacks for the upcoming 2012 season. Let's take a look. Now to start this list off, I have Aaron Murray from Georgia. Now Murray threw for over 3,000 yards last season and he has a really strong arm and good leadership qualities. But the reason why he's number five on my list is because he threw 14 interceptions last season. He has a completion percentage of just under 60%. And sometimes watching him play, he can be inconsistent at getting the ball to his receivers. Now at number four on my list, I have Landry Jones from Oklahoma. Now he basically owns every passing record, including being the all-time passing leader in Sooner history. Now I'm expecting him to put up the same numbers he did this previous season, but with his safety blanket and Ryan Burrows gone to the NFL, he's going to have to look towards Kenny Stills being his primary target next year. Now the reason why he is at number four on my list is because his touchdown and interception ratio isn't all that great. Through 29 touchdowns and 15 picks, he's really accurate. That's a plus, and that's why he's number four on my list above Aaron Murray. At number three on my list, I have Arkansas's Tyler Wilson. Now, Wilson was the best quarterback in the SEC last season, throwing for over 3,600 yards and was accurate while doing so. And to put up those kind of numbers in a conference where you're playing against the best defenses week in and week out is the reason why he's number three on my list. At number two, I have Geno Smith from West Virginia. Now, Geno Smith is not RG3, but he puts up RG3-like numbers, throwing for over 4,300 yards and 31 touchdowns to only seven picks. Smith is really accurate and shows mobility. He's been doing this for the past three seasons at West Virginia, throwing just above 64% each season. And the only reason he's not number one on my list is because of this guy. USC's Matt Barkley. Matt chose to stay for his senior season, and rightly so. The Chargers were arguably the best team in the Pac-12 last year and will have the chance to prove that they are who we thought they were. Matt can make all the throws that will make him a success at the next level and will have some serious weapons to throw to, which is why he's number one on my list. And some other quarterbacks you might want to keep your mind on. Denar Robinson of Michigan, Washington's Keith Price, and South Carolina's Tana Shaw. So that was my top five. Now I want to know what's your top five. In the comment box down below. Um, comment, tell me what's your top five. Tell me if you disagree with my top five. Tell me what you agree with. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. There's going to be a lot more videos like this. And don't forget to rate the video.